Okay, so if you just watched that, we just entered the St. Paul Library. As you first enter, we've got our teen section. We've also got some maker space cabinets over here with different things. Some preschool easy accessible computers and our student computers over here. We've got a great reading area here for the teens. We move into our non-fiction area that's sorted by the Dewey Decimal System. Um, non-fiction's right here. We've got a bookshelf back there with our new items, new juvenile fiction. Our juvenile fiction extends along the wall in that first bookshelf over there. We do have signs hanging to kind of explain where everything is. Um, we try to make things very easy for everybody to find. Our picture books are these shorter bookshelves over here along with our um, story time area. In the back, we've got some of our preschool activities and different um, educational toys. Our board books here, easy reader books here. So if you can kind of see, our student area is very easy to use for all students. They have access to all these titles, um, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, We've got our student research computer here that's pulled up to our St. Paul Library catalog. We've got some Legos over here. And this area is our adult maker space. We've got a Glowforge here, a 3D printer, Cricut machine, um, some vinyl cutters, um, just a bunch of different fun things over there for the adults as well. We try to keep that close to our circulation desk and our circulation area, just so we can keep a good eye on that. Um, but if you know anything about St. Paul Library, we are a combination with the City Library as well. And so we've got access to all of our city um, adult fiction, adult nonfiction, biographies, um, DVDs, magazines, different things like that. So that all extends on that side of the circulation desk and in the front over here. Another thing we do have is our copy machine. Um, it does not fax, but it scans to email. And if we come over here, we've got our adult computers as well. And then this door over here exits outside and um, our community room is out the store to the left, or to the right, along with our public restrooms. So that's kind of how the St. Paul Library is organized. Um, we try to follow some of the library standards and some of the newer um, topics in library, such as um, genre-fying a lot of our picture books. This has been a long process, but all of our picture books are separated by author's last name, except for these ones that are um, specific to the different categories, such as Thanksgiving, Christmas, Winter, Halloween, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and these are then separated based by last names as well. So they're super easy to find. Our catalog tells us exactly where things are, um, our patrons are starting to learn our new um, system here, but it's been super easy for everybody and we appreciate it.